What is going on guys, it is Bond here and today, yes, we are on Call of Duty World War 2 and today I'm going to be showing you guys my best SMG class in this video, this gun in particular, which is the MP40 and kind of going through the Type 100, I'll pop up a class when I do talk about it right now. And when you do start off, you'll have the chance to use the PPSH and the Grease gun. I recommend using the PPSH since it has such a large magazine as it says there, but then when you do unlock the Type 100, I'd recommend using this class in particular and then which I will show the attachments that I put onto it, in which since I don't have the Type 100 unlocked right now, I will show the the two attachments that go with every SMG that you should definitely put on. So when you do unlock these attachments, which you do unlock them quite quick, put on the grip, which reduces the recoil when aiming down the sight, and you also want to make sure they have steady aim, obviously increases accuracy when you're firing from the hip, since it is an SMG. So, these are the two main attachments you do want to have. You could run a third attachment by going and changing this kind of um, perk or basic training as it's called. While also going to, which I have to be rank 24 to unlock, is Gunslinger. It reloads you going quicker and you also sprint faster, obviously in an SMG class for leveling up. You do kind of want that. Run about and get kills and gain XP, whether you're playing war, definitely recommended trying to level up war and actually completing objectives, get you so much xp but another game modes like domination are quite known tdm and kill confirm are just as good but i'd recommend you know going to war for any game mode to, for leveling up definitely so main class in particular that i do run is the mp40 which you won't unlock immediately however when you do unlock it by prestiging your division in which i'll show you just in case people don't know and where and how you can prestige your division you come to here in the headquarters and you click and you prestige your division but i'm going to go through a rundown of my mp40 class which is basically the same now what i'd recommend using is a PPSH if you do start off and you haven't unlocked MP40 recommend you kind of making this class but for the PPSH if you haven't unlocked MP40 if you do have the MP40 I'd recommend putting these attachments and same secondary and everything the same so of course steady aim attachment and the grip obviously both reducing the recoil for hip range and long range so it's kind of like a mix of both the MP40 is incredibly good for long range and the definitely to the Type 100, which I do say when you get to rank 11, it is the best long range in this class. Type 100 is just as good as an assault rifle, but then just as good in close range. But I do show off the MP40 in the game as, and it is definitely worth grinding out the SMGs to unlock this gun. And then for the secondary on this, I would put in a machine pistol if I do have it unlocked. If you do have quick reloads, you will only find yourself using the MP40 and your primary weapon. That is literally it. The main thing of this class that is different to every other single class is that I put a smoke on this class in particular now this smoke has helped me so much in trying to capture the objectives in war and everything and actually making like myself invisible to enemies and actually getting the objectives destroying the objectives whatever it is in the war or any domination you know kill confirmed whatever smoke is the best thing uh, you could run a concussion as well but i find myself using the smoke is probably is the best to go undetected you can also put a suppressor on the airborne class of course so i do you know switch in between that so that's why you want to really run the airborne class however i found myself actually using uh, as you guys can see here i use my armored class and i put an smg class and i did use the armored class since if you guys see here you're immune to shell shock and tactical equipment so if you do make a class for war and it's going to be an smg class make sure that you kind of run armored if you aren't going to be using a silent which comes with airborne of course you guys can see that make sure that you stick on armored because then obviously you'll be immune to shell shock and tactical equipment and you won't get killed off the objective and then you will get kills and gain more xp of course so you can switch in between the division it depends on totally how you play if you want a suppressor or if you want to you know not die by a grenade or any tactical equipment then that is the way to go you can switch in between you can make two classes really if you want for two war gamers but this is as you can see here smg smoke class of which i have and I use the smoke grid in particular for this class and it helps a ton. So this is going to be my kind of like best way to level up class. And I've been using this class so much. It's got 239 kills and I have like 666 kills on the Type 100 as you can see. And I will definitely unlock this and use it as much as possible. See all these guns, they are just as good. But you'd have to wait until a higher rank to actually unlock them. However, for close quarters, I definitely use the PPSH. And for long range, mid range, definitely use the Grease Gun if you find yourself in that kind of combat. And then of course, you can grind out until you get the MP40 Prestige Division. When you Prestige Division first off, you do get the MP40 and you do kind of get to that pretty fast. So you will unlock and you'll find yourself using MP40 quite quick in this game. And then you can basically just destroy everybody with this class right here, as you guys can see. So if you guys do want to see more of these videos on World War 2, be sure to let me know in the comments down below and tell me what classes you also run down below, what guns you prefer more and what, what is best for you that you run. And other than that, make sure you drop a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated if you did find this enjoyable or helpful in any way. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this on the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. It's been your boy Bond. Peace.